Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Chevy Dude. Before I begin the content of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn all your bell notifications on so you don't miss an upload. Most importantly, if you communicate or contact the Bachman Auto Group in any sort of fashion, make sure you tell them that I'm the reason you are here and make sure that you ask for me so I can help you purchase your next car here at Bachman Auto Group. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I gotta tell you, I am super excited about this video because this video is something I have been working on for approximately two weeks. There's a lot of data in this video, so you're gonna wanna stick around and watch it all. I know somebody has done this a couple times already before, but that data was just on one dealership. This data is on every car scheduled to be built from General Motors on the 2020 C8. All right, everyone, so let's get right into this because we have a lot of data to go through. There is 550 VINs currently scheduled right now to be built. Uh, what's interesting is they skip a lot of numbers. So there's actually only 444 cars being built, but they've used 550 VINs. VIN number one, not built yet. Yes, when you see this video go live, VIN number one, is not built yet. We're gonna talk about when that is going to be built. We're gonna talk about the average MSRP as well. So let's get right into this. There's actually one, one LT available. Now, if you remember back in the fall, they had this rollout of what, two LTs, three LTs first, stuff like that. There is actually one, one LT in here. The rest are two and three LTs. Two LTs, there's 145 units and then there's 298 units of 3LT. Museum delivery, museum delivery is a huge thing. You should do this. I get asked the question all the time, do you still pay the destination charge and the museum charge? Yes is the answer, and the reason why is because you are supporting the museum. You're supporting their efforts to preserve Corvette. So it's a great way to do it, and this is a very disappointing number. I like to see more people do it. And I'm asked all the time, are you doing museum delivery? I'm not because I support them in other ways, this being one of them, do museum delivery. Only 36 people of the 444 units are doing museum delivery. Let's talk about colors. Now again, there was that color rollout schedule. A couple of these are not in that color rollout schedule. One of them makes me, it makes Stradman. I think it makes Street Speed 717. Uh, a couple other YouTubers. I don't know if they've mentioned they were buying cars yet. So uh, probably makes them a little upset. So let's go start with Sebring Orange. We've got 50 units of Sebring Orange. Arctic White 107, Ceramic Matrix Gray 51, two silvers. Silver was not an option at the beginning of the build. I think both of those are going to GM based off of the dealership code and where they're being shipped to. Uh, 81 blacks, one yellow. Again, yellow is not available. That is definitely not going to a dealership. It's going to General Motors. Uh, we have 49 shadow grays, 102 red ones, and one rapid blue. Now, again, Stratty, me, I think Street Speed 717. We all kind of wanted rapid blue and we can't have it. We all had to fix different colors. So that's what that is there. Um, let's get into uh, Z51. Z51, 402 cars uh, are Z51. So yes, only, what is that, 42 cars without it. And then uh, magnetic ride control. Magnetic ride control is different on the C8 than it was on the C7. The C7, the magnetic ride control was all about track experience. The magnetic ride control in the C8 is not for the track experience. It is for the driver experience on surface streets. It's the brand new magnetic ride control. So uh, FE4 magnetic ride control, 357 units uh, got magnetic ride control. So that was only a 45 difference between Z51 and magnetic ride control. So only 45 people did not get magnetic ride control who got Z51. Let's talk about the newest and awesomest feature, the front lift. So we got 444 cars, 360 of those got front lift. So you can say it's a pretty popular uh, option on the car for this year. I think it's gonna be an option for a long time as well. So let's go appearance package, that carbon fiber trim along with the lights over the engine. That got 277 uh, builds. Carbon mirrors, 188. So that turns your carbon fiber, that turns your mirrors to carbon flash and your spoiler carbon flash. So 188 people there. This one's a unique one. I was wondering about this. This is really, really unique. So you get black badges, standard, 
the black Corvette emblem and the black Corvette logo on the front of the car, but you have an option to do chrome. 39 people elected to do away with the black and do with chrome. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of actually high. I wasn't expecting it to be that high. Um, let's go with the high wing spoilers. We have two high wing spoilers, uh, body colored and carbon flash. So body colored, we have 25 body colored high wing spoilers being installed and we have 44 carbon flash metallics. I'm really shocked about this number as well. This is really low. It's only 69 high wing spoilers installed out of 444 units. Pretty interesting. So uh, for those of, that got a high wing spoiler right here, it's kind of interesting, but I've talked to a lot of people who are getting high wings. So this number for the first 550 VINs is kind of low, but kind of interesting. I think we'll see that down the road. I had to get my computer because I can't remember the codes for all the wheels uh, because a couple of them are just very common to get. Uh, so let's go Q8P. Uh, that is the standard five spoke silver painted wheels. 146 units are getting the standard wheels. That's kind of a high number, I think, for initial entry into the vehicle. Um, so is these people would have gotten chrome? I don't know. It's kind of interesting that 146 units uh, are getting the standard no upgrade wheel. Uh, Q8Q, that's your black five spoke carbon flash painted alloy with machined edge wheels. Uh, 197, I got that on my car. The Q8S wheel is the uh, sterling silver Trident wheels, I gotta be able to say that real quick three times. Uh, the only 58 units got that. The Q8T, those are the machine face Spectra gray painted wheels. 44 got those. And then uh, 5DF, that's the black Trident wheels that are accessory wheels. Now you get these wheels and you keep your original wheels. So you get two sets of wheels. 73 people elected to do that. Now, um, all these numbers are gonna add up to 518 because for someone like myself, I got the Trident wheels and I got the black wheels. So I have two sets of wheels coming from my car and they're both black. So I did not upgrade uh, or I did not elect to stay with the painted wheels. So you're gonna see those numbers go up. And then the last one is the pewter wheel, the 5DG uh, elected uh, Trident wheel. And that's another wheel that you get two wheels, zero, none. Nobody got those. So let's talk about Seat belts, seat belts this way. I couldn't remember what kind of seat I was in. Um, so uh, black, 284. So 200, more than half of the uh, cars are gonna stick with the standard seat belt. Orange seat belts, 18. Tan seat belts, 14. Blue, I'm shocked about this blue. Tension blue is an amazing color. Uh, only 11 cars. So let's go red seat belts. Red seat belts are really, really popular. Uh, 106 and yellow seat belts. Those uh, would only have 11 units out of that first 550 vents. Uh, seats, AQ9, that's your one LT. Did I just say one LT? <laughs> I mean, uh, GT1, Jeez. This is what happens when you have way too many numbers and stats and stuff in your head. The GT1 seats, only 53 units did GT1 seats. GT2 seats, 333 upgrades and then AE458. Now, um, the GT2 seats um, are not really so much of an upgrade because we have all those three LT cars, uh, we have 298. So if you take that 298 and 333, you can see how many uh, two LT cars got upgraded to a GT2 seat. So uh, let's continue on here. Um, oh, I think that's it. VIN number one, let's talk about VIN number one. VIN number one is not built first. I was shocked to see this. VIN number one is actually gonna be built the week of February 10th. Yes, the second week of build is when VIN number one is going to be built. It's kind of interesting. I'll kind of update you guys uh, on that uh, the day after the VIN one is built. Um, average MSRP, there's 440 cars, 444 cars, available, but only 397 of these cars actually had an MSRP. So the numbers are accurate on 397 cars. So not the whole 550 and the 444 as I talked about earlier. So the average MSRP is $84,813. That equals out to $33.7 million. Uh, a lot of money going through there. So let's talk about the highest and the lowest 
MSRP. The highest MSRP is the 13th card, number 13. That's $101,250. Uh, that's going to Utah, uh, St. George, Utah. So it's kind of interesting. And then the lowest, uh, this would be car number 239, $66,090. And this is uh, actually Mike Furman, the number one Corvette salesman in the country, sold this car, uh, I would assume. It's coming out of his dealership. And uh, they're electing to do RCA, museum delivery. So they have a 990 charge in there just to do uh, the museum delivery. So uh, all of these cars have a targeted production week on or before this 10th of February. So that's just two weeks that they're going to build 444 cars with the exception of six units. There are six units out there that are built past that, but like a couple of them are March, which is really weird. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but it's just what it is. So kind of interesting, but I wanted to talk about some of the first. Um, let's talk about the first car that's going to be built with a certain car. Oh, I forgot about the most important one, the selectable VIN, P-I-N, option code. This is where you pay $5,000 to select your VIN. There were 17 people who did that out of the 444 units. That's pretty interesting. Um, the numbers, 6, 11, 12, that was me, 13, 14, I think we know who 14 is, 16, 18, 19, 20, 23, 27, 66, 70, 93, and then these are the weirdly odd ones, 239, 256, and 285. I would love to know the story behind those ones that are 239, 256, 285. I think everything under 100, people just wanted the lowest VIN to get their car the quickest, stuff like that. But the 239, the 256, and the 285, if you can hit me up at chevydude.com, that would be really awesome. If you've got like a car that matches the VIN numbers from a certain era, that'd be an awesome vlog that I would love to uh, do. So uh, let's talk about these first that I almost forgot to mention first in this video. Um, let's talk about seat belts. I thought this was kind of interesting. Um, orange seat belts, the 76 car, uh, VIN number 76, is going to have orange seat belts. The very first car with tan is VIN number 60. The very first car was blue. Come on, number 11. I was one number off. I could have been, I was on the second car with blue seats. Uh, red, uh, number one car, duh, okay. Um, and then, and actually, by the way, everybody was talking about how um, that that picture they showed earlier in the week that was a black car on the assembly line was VIN number one. That should tell you right there that red seat belts were number one because that car had the next one, uh, number 14, which had yellow seat belts. That was the very first car with yellow seat belts. Um, R8C, the museum delivery, number five is the very first VIN that's gonna be going to the museum, and number 25 as well. And I'm almost positive number 25 was the VIN that uh, they're giving away, that you could raffle off and, and get. I'm pretty sure I remember that. Uh, chrome badges, I mentioned that earlier. The very first car, man, they busted it right out the gate. Number six, VIN number six got chrome badges. And then uh, 5ZU uh, code, that was VIN number five. So there you go. Well, one thing I've learned in this job for 20 years is to expect the unexpected. Now, all the data that I have uh, was telling me that the production week was 210 on VIN 001. Well, all that video I shot was prior to regular production starting. Well, I come in on today, Tuesday, I pull my VIN, I pull some other ones, and including 001, and look at this. You see that 3800 code right there? Right above my car? Yeah, that means the car was produced yesterday. So uh, targeted production week is exactly that, targeted production week. Your car could get built early or it could be built late. It's TPW, targeted production weight. So good news out of this, VIN number 001 is completely built. That's pretty awesome. Well guys, there you have it. That was really, really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed the data. It was really interesting to work on this over the last couple of weeks. So if you would, don't forget, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, visit ChevyDudeStore.com, support the channel with a merch purchase, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching, have a great day, and drive safely.